I think a general consensus would be that we are desperate. When we come to you, we're desperate and we're broken and we're tired. And we've had a whole lot of people not listen to us. I remember um, one day I was just screaming. I was like, why is no one listening to me? For Brayden, it was hard. And he wasn't breaking the code of reading the way that I thought he should. And I started asking questions and we got the standard, it's developmental, um, he'll grow into it, he's a boy, he's young, they all leave it out in third grade. So I was hearing that from all the teachers and trying to have that appease me, but there was something in my gut that told me that wasn't correct. And so I began to research, trying to figure out why it was that my smart kid, bright kid who loved books and everything regarding language and reading wasn't really grabbing onto reading. So I went um, to the reading specialist and I said, I think this is what it is. And she looked at me and she said, I don't know a lot about dyslexia. I'm sorry. And I was surprised by that. And I was also not surprised by that because I have an education background and thinking back to my education courses, I probably read a paragraph on dyslexia in my entire teacher education. Um, so again, I went back to researching and came across Orton Gillingham. And on a whim, on a Saturday morning, I typed in Orton Gillingham Quad Cities in my Google search and the first thing that popped up was Northside. A couple hours later, I had an email back and it was from Dana. Our correspondence was the first time that anyone had listened to me, um, had told me I wasn't crazy, and honestly said, if that's what it, you think it is, and if it is, I can help you. In first grade, my mom and dad just found out that I just had dyslexia, and well, they saw here and that they do dyslexia stuff. Well, they went here and they tried it out. I really liked it, but on the first day I tried it, I was really scared. And well, I had dyslexia, so um, it was hard for me to do my B's and D's, and also I um, was having trouble reading. When I just started, it felt like it was gonna be a long time. But once I got in, it felt like a 30 minute. <laughs> because I was so focused, that one just went really fast. Well, at the beginning of the year, I was reading really bad. And well, during those, I'm in book eight right now, at the end of book eight, now I'm just reading like a pro. Thank you, Northside, for uh, helping me doing Barton and teaching me how to read really well. Lee. He went from a kid who, when I would read with him or I'd have him read to me, I would say, hey, why don't you read this, this sentence? And he would bury his head in his pillow or wherever he was and just would not look at it. And now um, when I ask him to read things, he's totally willing. A fog was lifted or like something was lifted so that it just made sense, like it just worked. This is a solid way to learn to read. You put this in the hands of any kid and they're gonna succeed. It's an investment, but it's worth it. I think a general consensus would be that we are desperate. When we come to you, we're desperate and we're broken and we're tired and we've had a whole lot of people not listen to us. It's sleepless nights. It's, you know, crying on the kitchen floor. I mean, it's, it's huge. So you're willing. I remember um, one day I was just screaming. I was like, why is no one listening to me? These things that other kids were getting like that in kindergarten, and he's finally doing it. This church has filled a niche within the community that, that is so vital, so necessary. The hospitality, everything, I mean, it's just amazing, and it's, it's a blessing to all of us who get to experience your church in this manner.